What are you doing here? Why? So what happened to your security detail? I didn't see anyone outside. I sent them home after I got in. What? The windows are locked, the door is locked. I'm armed. So our guy killed the others where they were found. Why not this girl? Why didn't he just leave her in the garage where we'd find her? He's changing it up. Or this victim is special. No, thanks. No, no, no. Agent Shaw said we need to decompress. Nothing decompresses like a 2000 Chateau Neuf de Pop. Oh, well, Special Agent Shaw said so. What is that supposed to mean? Nothing. I just see the way that you listen to her, the way that you look at all of her fancy equipment. Now my murder board's not enough for you. Now you need a smart board. Are you jealous? I'm not jealous. I'm just embarrassed the way that you act like a 10-year-old all impressed by her data matrix. Oh, it collates information so quickly, Agent Shaw. Tell me all about it. You are ridiculous. Oh, and then to top it off, you are now building theory with her. So? So you're supposed to be building theory with me. You're supposed to be on my team. Well, I thought we were all on the same team. We are. It's just, I think that if you have an insight, you should run it by me first. Fine, I will. Now drink your wine. Thanks. It was very emotional. Yeah, there were a lot of tears. Um, Alexis was fine, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, Castle, we're gonna miss you around here. Yeah, I'm gonna miss you too. You're still leaving the coffee machine, though, right? Can't have your stuff for my absence, huh? Oh, we can really use one of those down in the morgue. With Castle gone, I just hope our clearance rate doesn't drop. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, look who's off duty. Yeah, well, Castle, I'm not all work. Don't get into a drinking contest with her. She can take you. Thank you. Oh, I don't need to drink to take him. Oh, what's gotten into you? <laughs> Castle, do you have a second? Of course, yeah. whole year of wondering about him, hating him, dreaming about him, trying to think like him, but still having no clue how to catch him. It's not your job to catch a serial killer. Because I'm not a cop. I like to pretend I'm Beckett's partner, like I'm one of them, but days like today, I realize that I've just been play acting. Oh, your play acting once helped save New York City, as I recall. Be there for your friends. Stand beside them. Work together. That's plenty useful. Trust me. Let's uh, keep this party a little quiet, though, all right? The captain here is, I'm sure she'll blame me. Who's going to tell her? Not me. You? Nope. What about you, Ryan? Mm -hmm. Well, then I think we're good. Well, then, to my partner, Kevin Ryan. A credit to the job. To Ryan. To Ryan. I'd like to make a toast. To bravery and commitment to love and sacrifice. To Jane. To Jane. Facing death demands celebrating life. Tonight, we feast. Where's Alexis? Oh, she's... Uh, Excuse me, woman. Yeah. So... Yes. Oh, thank you. And I didn't get a chance to properly thank you for saving my life. Oh, there's no need, Castle. We're partners. It's what we do. Yes. Some of us more than others, of course. Wait. What is that supposed to mean? Only that this is the eighth time you've saved my life, and I've saved your life nine times. Okay, first of all, I can't even believe that you're keeping score. And secondly, there is no way that you've saved my life more than I have yours. Nine? Please. Well, let's review, shall we? The first time I distracted that mad gunman with the champagne bottle. And yes, that was a save, even you admitted it. The second time, the um, serial killer put a bomb in your kitchen while you were taking a shower. I'm telling you, something happened. Something changed. It's been weird between us lately. Lately? Kate, it's been weird for four years. No, this is different. He's different. It's like he's pulling away. Well, can you blame him? He's probably tired of waiting. Waiting for what? What do you think? The guy is crazy about you. And despite your little act, you're crazy about him. Oh, what? Was that supposed to be some big secret? 
Yes. No. Do you think he knows? You and your hooker friend are under arrest for interfering with my murder investigation. Turn around. Thanks for the drink. Cheers. So Franklin was a meth kingpin, huh? Turns out all of his properties housed meth labs, which makes sense for someone who used to cook the books. That's why he was killed. It's a dangerous business. Mm. Well, it's all about New York now. The boys can take it from here, and we can pick up right where we left off before this whole thing came to us. Chief Brady, not everyone could have handled themselves the way you did on the dock today. You're a good cop. Chief Brady. Here's to you. Thank you, Detective Beckett. Mm. In celebration of our finally getting together for dinner, I have made a very special dessert. Martha, that looks incredible. It's to die for, literally. I call it death by chocolate. Now, given your baking experience, is that a prediction? <laughs> I take it cooking's not one of your talents, Martha. Well, not really. I sort of save my creative energy to perfect a more worthy craft. Active. And what about you, Jim? How's the law treating you? Uh, good. I've got a class action lawsuit that's uh, keeping me pretty busy. Nice. Oh, well, I hope you find time to cut loose, Jim, and just do something fun. Oh, well, of course. I, I try to take in a baseball game every now and again. Oh, Lord. Baseball? Isn't that dreadfully dull? Well, it requires a certain patience. <laughs> a certain lack of pulse, you mean. <laughs> I think uh, what my dad responds to is the game's nuance. Oh, well, yes, of course it has its merits. Yeah, I think my mother just means it's not exactly, uh action-packed right but that would depend on how you look at it right yeah i mean i suppose it does appeal to the more serious more discerning crowd jim what exactly does that mean just that actors by their nature aren't the most serious people in the world right oh is that so so you think i'm not a serious person here's to a job well done and now you can finally get rid of this bucket list of yours. What's that look for? Be with Kate? That's your number one? When did you write this? Well, like three years ago. Ooh, I can cross that one off. <sighs> I'm, I'm, um, sorry, still one minute till midnight. Are you serious, Castle? Yes, I'm serious. I'm not taking any chances. This is one deadline I want to miss. You know, you're right. It would be a shame if something happened to us because there's one thing on my bucket list that I would like to accomplish, and it involves a little trick that I do with ice. See, now that definitely sounds worth living for. Hey, Castle. The just... ice is melting. OK, ju I just, in three, Two. No, it was all Maggie. She knew that Liam was too loyal, and she figured that if she could get Bobby S. in prison, her husband would ascend to the throne. So really, Lady Maggie was Lady Macbeth, only she was Irish, not Scottish. Uh, listen, Kate, about Jordan. You know what, if, uh, if you don't want to talk oh, about I, it... I, I, I want to, but what happens if you don't like what you see? What happens if you don't let me look? Does that mean you have to go run off and arrest someone? No. Right now, I've got other plans. Happy birthday. How many murders do you think we've solved since we met? I don't know. Um, maybe a hundred or so. A hundred? Hmm? Here's to a hundred more. You know, what you did for me, nobody's ever done that for me before. That was epic. I'll make sure that we get you some food up here. That's okay. We have the essentials. 
Pour you a glass? I know, thank you. I'm on duty. Take your work seriously. I like that about you. Makes me feel safe. Oh, oh. oh my God! Oh. Oh. No, are you okay? <laughs> yes, I think you're gonna have to protect me from myself. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna go and get you some ice, okay? Oh. Look, I wish I could help you, but uh, I simply just don't know him. Ryan, we gotta go over that video again. There's gotta be something in it that'll help us figure out who he is. Wait, no, Cat. I didn't say that I never want you to play your game again. No, I know. Don't worry. I have more courts. This is just symbolic. But you're right. I've been taking you for granted. But no longer. Tonight, it's all about me. Should it be about me? Nope. Because tonight it's all about me giving you a romantic full body massage. And why didn't you go to your prom? I'm sure 17-year-old Catherine Beckett had many a young suitor. Yeah, except Rebel Bex was a little too cool to go to a silly dance, so we went to a poetry slam in East Village instead. It's one of those seminal moments that I kind of wish I didn't skip out on. To the things we missed. And to those we didn't. It's okay, Castle. You know I like the weird ones. Hmm. It's interesting how malleable the human mind is. I mean, all those people wanted was a little help. But instead they became guinea pigs all because they turned to the wrong person for answers. Yeah, well, sometimes it's hard to know who the right person is. After all, it took you three tries. True, but I figured it out. And you didn't even have to drug me. How do you know what I do to you when you're sleeping? Whoa. Well, whatever it is, wake me up for it next time. <laughs> Excuse me. Alexis. What's going on? Dad. Can I come home? Come here. This is early Christmas, baby. I was not expecting this. Are you crying? Yes. I don't know what to say. Try let me get my checkbook. Yes, of course. Of course. But I... I will only accept this if you all share it with me. Twist my arm. No. Not here. Um... At the old haunt, we will toast to Donnie with his family. Yeah, what, what about that place? What happens to the old haunt? It's going to go back to the bank, which means that T.J. McChucklenuts is going to get another shot at it. Oh, I wouldn't worry about the old haunt. You bought it, didn't you? So are you joining us? You know, I'd love to. It's late, and I've got a lot of paperwork. It's 9 o'clock on a Saturday. It's 9.15, actually. The regular crowd shuffles in. There's an old man sitting next to me Making love, love to his tonic and gin He said, son, can you play me a memory? I'm not really sure how it goes But, but it's sad and it's sweet and I knew it complete When I, I wore a younger man's clothes oh, Sing us a song, you're the piano man Sing us a song tonight. Well, 